Awesome. Hello, you're welcome back to my channel and page. If you're just joining me for the first time, I am Oka Fotochi. In this channel and page, we talk about the use of herbs, fruits, and all the natural elements to solve human problems. On today's topic, we're going to discuss about spiritual husband and spiritual wife, the spirit of incumbus and succubus. Some people choose to call it spiritual being. Knowledge is power and when you know what you are up against, it becomes easier to fight back and of course win the battle. But first, let's focus on what this spiritual husband and spiritual wife is and how they are associated or linked to human beings, how they affect human beings and how most of them cause problems in our lives. If you are a young lady, you have been experiencing failure in relationship or marriage and you don't have, you've tried everything within your power to find out the cause of that is not your bad attitude. It's not any kind of um, a charm. But you keep experiencing the same problems. You will be in a relationship. Everything will be moving fine. When it gets to the stage of marriage, the relationship will start having problems. And they will push you away and marry another person. Or you are in a marriage. Your husband was doing well before he married you. And after marrying you, you notice that your husband starts having financial issues, problems here and there, even to the extent of having health problems. Some of them are not just ordinary. Some are being caused by what we call the spirit of incumbus and succubus, which is spiritual husband and spiritual wife. The root cause of most of these problems we see is the spirit beings that is what people call spiritual husband and spiritual wife please if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like and comment and turn on the notification bell to get notified each time i upload a new content then if you're returning subscriber thank you so much for your support i really appreciate it i shall be focusing on the female that is being attacked or suffering from attacks from this incumbus spirit or incumbus family. It becomes a family when the woman have already have children for the spirit husband. And how do you know that? Most times you see yourself having a wedding in the spiritual realm, in your dreams. Or you see yourself Breastfeeding, breastfeeding a baby or nursing children. Some of them are not just mere dreams. And one thing we should know about our dreams is that most of the things that happen to us in this life happens in the dream first before manifesting in reality. So when you, when you keep experiencing a situation whereby you breastfeed a baby in your dream or you have a husband uh, having intercourse in the dream, or you see yourself showing parental role in your dream while you are still single. This is a pure sign of spiritual husband if you are a woman. One of the things that attracts spiritual being or spiritual husband is sexual appeal. Again, beauty or handsomeness. The prettier a lady is, the higher her tendency of attracting more male admirers, especially if she is fair skinned without blemishes. In the Holy Bible, Genesis chapter 6, it is stated that in the biblical days of Noah, that even the angels of God in heaven couldn't resist the beauty of human maidens on earth as they came down to choose wives 
for themselves. If as a lady you have sexual encounters in your dreams with spirit entities, it is partly because you are no doubt a pretty lady whose youthful beauty is appealing to the eyes and who is also elegant in appearance. Your attractiveness has one way or the other attracted to your various human male friends and like a magnet it has also attracted non-human male entities spirit beings to you unfortunately unlike in human male female relationship where the man seeks your consent to go out with him or to have sex with you or not spirit being don't seek your consent they force themselves on you when your defenses are weak and when you are fast asleep. These spirit beings have sex with their victims either for the pleasure or for having children, just like in human life. And this usually happens in the night when the woman is lying down and fast asleep. Such a person may experience some sort of temporary paralysis when the so-called spirit being is trying to have his or her way with her true sex in the dream brain. Oftentimes, such a person experiences sexual urge or wetness, wakes up feelings that someone has made love to her. The spiritual sexual encounter is bad enough but it is not the real problem. The spirit husband or the spirit wife is usually jealous and will not tolerate sharing his or her victim with another human being. He frequently monitors the woman victim or the man victim because it is in a man, it is in a woman and will readily and violently attack the business finances and the health of any human man or human male that decides to marry her victim. Sometimes this spirit being will not allow their victim to get married at all by frustrating all the person's efforts of getting married so that he could have her or him all to herself or all to himself. Some will even go as far as killing the sitters. That's why it's here that this person got married today. The next day or within some period of time, the husband now dies. These are some of the reasons behind that. One of the commonest symptoms of spirit husband or spirit wife is childlessness through barrenness and miscarriages in marriage. If the woman has children for the spirit husband, both the spirit husband and the spirit children will do everything within their power to stop that woman from marrying another person in real life. The interesting part is that they are aware that they are not wanted. Hence, they can go as far as getting very dangerous and are obstinate in their various tricks to permanently patch on and dominate their victim's life. Luckily enough, perfect and persistent prayers can send them back in, although they can be stubborn. But with persistence in prayers and by doing some of the steps that I will outline here, they will surely leave you and will never return. Some of the important steps include do not sleep naked or in a colored clothes anymore. Use a white night dress and cover yourself with a white wrapper or white bed spread whenever you go to the bed. Anytime you make love with your man or your woman, take a shower before going to the bed because the scent of semen, spam, attracts the spirit being. Get some sea water. Recite Psalm 24 from the Holy Bible. Into it, it says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness therein. Pray and ask God 
who owns the entire earth and everything in it to come into your home, cleanse your home and your life, and dislodge any evil spirit sharing your home and your bed with you. In the prayers, make sure that you denounce everything you have with the spirit being, be it spiritual husband or spiritual wife. When you are saying it, you mean it. You have the authority to accept or, or, or reject anything. So as long as you don't need them again, reject it with your mouth. As I say in the prayers, reject it. I reject every spirit of spiritual, every spirit husband, every spiritual, uh, every spirit wife that is disturbing my life, that is tormenting me, or every spirit children. Anything it is, use your mouth to bow yourself. Use your mouth to lose yourself from them because they came into your life on their own. They forced themselves on you. So therefore. Claim and de denounce them. Separate yourself from them using your mouth. You have a power in your mouth. If you don't know, you have a very strong power in your mouth. Your mind, your mouth, your mouth can save you and your mouth can kill you. So mind the things, the words that come out of your mouth. In this case, use your mouth to denounce them and tell them that you don't want them again. You have to be persistent in prayers because the name of the Lord Jesus Christ is more powerful and destroy anything that is not wanted. Use the, the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ and denounce them and pray continuously about it. They will go. And after the prayers, sprinkle the sea water which you use to pray around your home, both in and outside. And as you're sprinkling it, let the water cleanse away air on and dislodge every power, every spiritual spirit that is sharing your life and your bed with you and your home. And they will leave you for good. And this will mark a new beginning in your life. And you will live to enjoy your life and your marriage. And there are other uh, steps of which we will continue later. Please share, like and comment, okay? See you. Bye for now. Love you guys.